show you another neat new feature in FileMaker 17. Uh, and that's basically breaking down one of the last walls, uh, the last bastions of uh, global fields in uh, the user interfaces in FileMaker. And that is custom dialog boxes. You can now uh, have uh, uh, input fields that aren't actual global fields, but variables. So I'll show you real quick here. If, if, I, if I click on this uh, dialog box here, and I type in a number, let's say 52, hit OK. Uh, and then I go to uh, my data viewer. I notice that that global uh, uh, variable is showing 52. It used to be 55. I changed it to 52 via the custom dialog box. A quick aside, you notice that I have this tool menu here. Well, something new with FileMaker uh, 17 is that now all versions of FileMaker have that capability of showing uh, uh, the tools menu. And you can turn that on by simply going to your preferences, selecting general, and uh, uh, clicking on the use advanced tools. Now you will have to restart your FileMaker client to uh, see those changes. But it's kind of nice because you get a debugger uh, and uh, uh, custom menus and a few no a number of other things. And uh, uh, the data viewer, which I used to show you that variable, is, is, is one of them. Uh, so now let's go behind the scenes and kind of show you what's going on there. So um, I'll double click on this button. I'll go into the single script step. And I'll click here, and uh, all this is you know standard stuff here. Input fields looks kind of standard, except for when you hit specify, and then you can actually see that in, uh, instead of just seeing fields, I now have the ability to set a variable. Uh, so I go ahead and do that, and I am good to go. Uh, now, uh, one of the other things I can show you right here, if I uh, throw a merge variable in there, and I put uh, age as the merge variable. I put that fellow up here, go into browse mode, and lo and behold, you see 52 uh, changed. So a real, a real nice feature. You won't have to uh, create as many global uh, uh, fields anymore. You can do much more with variables. Now I've showed you how to do a global variable, but you, but you could uh, use a local variable. Uh, if you're uh, containing everything within uh, a single script. Uh, but for this purpose, since I wanted to show you uh, outside of the script in the data viewer and a merge variable, I, I picked a global, but you certainly aren't limited to that. You could use a local variable as well for this technique.